And now to present our Athlete of the Year, please give a warm round of applause for Ryan Navaroli. What an awesome event this is. Can we give a shout out to Matthew again for doing this thing? This is pretty amazing. Had some great winners and I'm excited to keep this thing going. Now this next award recipient, he's really incredible. I don't know about you all, but when I see people sailing out in the ocean, I tell myself, God damn, that's gotta be a ton of work. And I am just referring to those who you see on a nice, light Santa Cruz Bay day, nothing out there, just a peaceful day, and that's still a lot of work to do that. Add on velocity, strong wind directions, while also competing in part of a multiple day race at the professional level, well, that's amazing. As you can see, I'm a bit more impressed about this man's track record. The International 505 World Championship has a prestigious history which features hundreds of professional sailors from all over the world to race and compete for a national title each year. This past year, over the course of 10 days, this man competed with some of the very best in Annapolis, Maryland to compete for the 2017 International 505's World Championship. Oh no, not one, not two. He had to make a statement. This is, would be his third um, trophy for the 505 that he got this past year for the 2017 competition. But accomplishments aside, I think what I admire most about this gentleman is that he is not a bolster, but he lets his actions, results, and passion for the sport of sailing speak for itself. This man is really, truly deserving. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm welcome to the 2018 Nexties Athlete of the Year, a three-time 505 world champion, one of Santa Cruz's finest who's a role model for many and myself, Mr. Mike Holt. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ryan and Matthew and everybody else who's behind this whole evening. It's a fantastic evening and so good to see so many of you out here. Uh, somewhat of uh, an irony that the Athlete of the Year follows the Foodie of the Year, but that's what I've got, so here we go. When I received the email uh, telling me that I'd won this award, I almost deleted it as spam. <laughs> After all, an award like this really should be for somebody young. At least that's what my children said, or my kids, who I think are still rolling around the floor laughing that I was uh, nominated for this award. I came to Santa Cruz 26 years ago to do a uh, sailing world championship in this phenomenal town that we call home, and fell in love with a girl and the town, <laughs> and have essentially called Santa Cruz home ever since. So to be recognized here tonight for my sailing achievements uh, in an area that's so full of uh, just amazing sporting people and uh, uh, an athletic uh, town is an enormous honor. But not just for me, uh, sailing is a, is a fairly unsung sport. So for sailing to actually be recognized at this level as a, as a, as a sporting endeavor is, is, is fantastic and a uh, really huge thing for for the history of Santa Cruz as a sailing town. But I couldn't be here without the support of, uh, and sacrifices that my wife Annette and my uh, still laughing children have made. That's Megan and Tim out there somewhere. Uh, Tim turned 21 uh, yesterday, so he's probably had a beer tonight. Hopefully just a beer. Uh, as well as the two people that I sail with, Carl and Rob, who are not here tonight, but really this award is as much for them as it is for me. So uh, thank you very much for the award tonight. Very much appreciated to all of you for being here. Thank you. <laughs> 